So I just bought my most expensive coin for the Stansko 77 album. Let's take a look. Hey everyone, Silver Steeler here. And winning image photography. So yeah, my most expensive coin for the Dance Go 77 album so far would be that one right there. So I picked up a couple shield nickels. We got an 1867 with rays and an 1867 with no rays. So with rays and without rays. And then here it is. 1937s commemorative Texas round. Got me one of these Texas rounds, and it is in great condition. It says 115 on there. I talked them down to what was it, 75 or 80 bucks, somewhere right around there. Uh, we'll take a look at that underneath the scope in a bit. But I'm very, very happy with that purchase, even though it's my most expensive one. This is an upgrade. That's the two cent piece, the 1864. 1864. We can actually read the date on this one. We'll get that one underneath the scope. That's an upgrade. The other one, couldn't see, couldn't see the date. And here, again, like I did with the Ike in the previous video where I put a silver one in it, I'm going to go ahead on the Bicentennial in the back. I'm going to put me a proof 40% silver one in that one. And we won't take a look underneath the scope on that one. We pretty much know what we're getting into that one with. But here we are on an 1857. Yes. Flying Eagle. Sent, yes. My first one of those. And we'll get that one underneath the scope. So let's go to the scope. All right, we're going to take a look under the scope. This is the 1867 Shield Nickel with... Rays. Very nice. Again, another one of them gritty looking, but the details are nice. Yeah, be a nice hole filler in that book. Then we have another 1867 with, well, we don't know yet, but we know this is the one with no rays. A little cleaner in the last one, but I actually think the other one had some very nice details, but Another nice hole filler. This one's got a weird rim action thing going on up uh -huh. around the states of uh -huh. America. Certainly does. Hmm. Well, then, of course, our favorite for this particular video the Texas Round 1937 San Francisco. Look at that. Mm. Very nice. Yeah, it's got a lot of nice detail on it. Very, very pretty coin. Very nice. Now we have the two cent piece. This is a definite upgrade for our book. You could not see a date or anything on the two cent piece that we got in there. So this one you can see the date. Mm -hmm. And we get the we trust is a little is gone, but you can still see the date. Nice. Very nice. And then the flying. Oh yeah. Got one. This is what a little bit higher. Eighteen fifty-seven. First flying eagle sent. Very nice. I'll take them. Let's see them in the book. All right. Now that we got those in there, let's take a look at all this and see how it's come along. Got my first flying eagle sent there. Did an upgrade on that two cent piece. So we got the bottom of that one filled. Our first complete row on page one. And I don't, yeah, we got the two shield nickels in this one. 
So almost there, just need that Buffalo Variety 1. I don't know much about the Buffalo Nickels. I mean, I know some things, but I'd imagine that that's a tougher one to get. I only have one half time, so... I only got a few more in that one. And again, I don't believe we did any upgrades to this page, no. But we did pluck out the Booker T. Washington we used to have there. And we replaced it with that Texas round. Beautiful. Very nice. And we put a 40% Bicentennial Silver Ike in there. Two more to go and that page is full. So, yeah, that won't be hard. That'll be a very easy page. Very easy page. There you go. It's coming along. Coming along. Well, remember to like, subscribe. And all those other good things. I'll see you on the next video.